Okay, now let's continue. So um, here, as I told you, we'll first look at the cadmium vacancy by itself. So the structure that we're looking at is this one. Okay, my final structure that I'll be discussing is going to be this. Uh, but just to first look at the cadmium vacancy. So when we look at the next this structure, then we know what the vacancy should look like. So this is the structure that I'm looking at right now. Uh, cadmium 89, selenium 90. Um, so just the vacancy itself, the cadmium vacancy. Now this is a neutral cadmium vacancy. So in order to get the neutral cadmium vacancy, I went through the same calculation. Um, so I'm just showing you the structure. I'll just change the color. So it'll be easier for you to visualize. I'm just going to give you this color. Yeah. Hopefully it's easier to visualize like this. So there's a cadmium vacancy here. Okay. So in order to get this, what I had to do was, um, sorry. What I had to do was take this optimized structure of uh, the cadmium selenide with the vacancy, subtract um, cadmium 90, selenium 90, and then add the cadmium at the very uh, position that I removed it from. So this would actually give me uh, cadmium 89, selenium 90. Okay. So coming to this structure. Now, <clears throat> First, we'll just go by the colors. We won't be looking at the exact shape because as you see over here, there, there are certain shapes that you will see. There's certain shapes uh, that these uh, charge density plots or the difference in charge density plots have. Now, so before we look at that, we're just going to look at the colors. So I'm just going to zoom in. Right here is a vacancy. You will see a ball right here. You're seeing a ball right here. I'll remove it and this is how I'll remove it and that'll tell you what that ball represents. It's not actually um, a charge, oh, sorry, it's not actually a selenium or a cadmium. I'll show you what that is. So I'm just going to remove, that's one of the surfaces. So let me make it positive. So if I make it positive, let's see what I get, okay. negative. Whether I do positive or negative, I see something right here. Negative, positive, okay. So, okay, let's just uh, focus this way. So there is, okay, it's just a surface. So that small ball that you see right here, there's just a surface, just like this surface right here. So it's not actually um, a ball. Um, that means it's not actually a cadmium atom or a selenium atom because the size is just like the selenium. But if you look at the position, it is a third one. Oh, sorry. It is um, the atom that is missing. So one, two, three, four, as I showed you in this structure in the previous video, this atom right here that is missing. That is a cadmium vacancy. So coming back. <clears throat> so right here, we have a vacancy. So this is positive. So that means there is an increase in the charge in our doped structure compared to our neutral structure. Okay, now uh, undoped structure. So um, the doped structure has extra charge compared to the undoped structure. So if you see negative, so as you see over here, I'm going to click negative right here. So I click negative and you'll see the pattern change right here. So this is what will be showing up as blue when I'll put both the positive and negative together. Okay, so you see this. Now I'm going to put them together. Uh, but you will be able to see all these things when I'll send you the VESTA files for this one. This is not exactly the same one that I sent to you on, um, I think, Sunday or for a Saturday because I made some corrections, as you had asked me. So... Here we have both the positive and the negative. So you see, now this is the positive and these blue, they represent the negatives. So 
Basically, as I told you, if there was no charge at all, if there was no charge at all, um, right here, if there was no charge or if the difference in the charge was the same or if the difference in the charge was this, then we will not be seeing anything. There will, no, there will be no yellow and there will be no blue. Okay. If there was no difference, there would be no yellow, no blue. And the actual example of that was with this plot that I'd shown you right here. That was in the previous video. I showed you that right here, you do, you're not seeing anything. And the reason why you're not seeing anything is because that difference was the same. So it was 10 and 10 in the next one. That is why there is no blue and there is no yellow. That was just an example. It's not the structure that we're using. So here you see both blue and yellow. So that means there was some charge in the previous structure. Okay. And it's basically more uh, yellow right here. That means there's basically more of an increase in the charge right here. So at least we can conclude that yes, either there is some charge going in or there is some charge coming out, but there's charge actually going in because as I showed you over here, in this case, this is actually our cadmium, sil cadmium uh, selenide undoped minus the cadmium at that position. So this actually is this one right here. And as I told you, you're not seeing, sorry, you're not seeing anything right here. There's nothing right here. I have just put in the bonds just for the sake of it, but there is no blue or no yellow. <clears throat> okay, so that means in the previous doped structure or in the doped structure, there was some charge. Okay, and in that area right here, we're actually seeing this yellow. So that means there is charge going in to that area. So in that neutral structure, so in the neutral structure that we write, have right here, we haven't added or removed any charges, any electrons. When I optimize the structure, charge actually went in. All right, so there is an increase in the charge. Now, we also see the surrounding atoms also, that there is some change in the charge distribution. And you will also see that they actually have a certain shape. Okay, And we might be able to relate it to the, um, the PX py, pz, or sx, um, or sorry, s orbital, or the p orbital, or the d orbitals, because they have certain shapes. So we might be able to, I have to look at it, I'm not completely sure of it, I haven't read about it as yet, um, to compare the shapes and sizes. But you see, there is a, a certain shape that it has. Now, so that is the first point, that charge is moving in to that area when we have a neutral structure, the charge is coming in from the atom surrounding it. So the atom surrounding it, so there is one selenium right here. If you're able to see it, there is a selenium right here. And if not, what I'll do is just make it negative. Yeah, so when I make it negative, you see right here, there is a selenium. And this is a vacancy. Yeah, so okay, makes it much easier, you see. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so you can see it much better right now. So you see there is a small circle. So there is a surface where their charge has vanished. Okay. And these are again surfaces on the selenium atom where the charges have vanished. So let's, um, I'm not going into that, but let's say if that was the P orbital uh, or PX or PY or PZ electron that actually was lost and went over here. Then in that case, just an example, not saying that that is exactly uh, what has happened, but something like that has happened. So there's a decrease in the charge right here. And there is an increase in the charge, which we'll see when we do the positive in that area over there. Okay. So now when I do positive, we see this, the charge right here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so I was showing you the atoms. So the atoms that we see right here that actually have lost something, 
they are the selenium atoms because when I do the positive and negative, yeah. It's more of the seleniums that are losing, a little bit of the cadiums that are losing something. So that is basically that what we are seeing over here. No? I'm not going into in-depth because this should be enough to actually uh, prove my point that charge is moving into the cadium vacancy. Okay, So that was the first um, uh, point that I wanted to present to you. So if this happens, so when we are going to dope, so let me just go back to the positive and negative. So you can switch this around to see how the charge has moved um, away or, or towards a certain atom or the certain position. So here again, let me show you the cadmium vacancy. That this was, this is our cadmium vacancy right here, this circle. Okay, so this is just a charge, the surface, uh, an isosurface of uh, charge. This is not actually a ball. So it's not actually an atom, okay? And uh, so we just put it to positive and negative so you can see the whole picture. Okay, so now if I put an iron, that is this, if I substitute an iron with the cadmium vacancy and if nothing goes into this section, if nothing goes in here, if you don't see anything happening, that means no electrons are moving into the cadmium vacancy. Okay, but if something is moving into the cadmium vacancy, or if some and something is happening around this, okay, that means if this lost some charge. So let's say if this lost some charge, and it went right here. That means you should see blue right here, because blue means charge has been lost. And if charge comes here, if you see yellow right here, that means charge has come here. So when that happens in the neutral case, then my hypothesis that that is Fe3+, plus, and this is the charge cadmium vacancy. I don't know what the charge is, but that is a charge cadmium vacancy. It might have taken extra electrons from one of the selenium or uh, the cadmium, but this is not Fe2 plus anymore, and this is not a charge free, a charge free cadmium vacancy. So that is what I'll be showing in the next video or next part of the video.